In this video you will learn how to implement files uploading on your website in a simple way. And the sponsor of this video is UploadCare, which is exactly a solution to our problem. What problem do we have at all? Let's say that we need to implement files uploading on our website. In order to do that we typically need in our frontend framework to implement some model where we can upload files. After this we must implement backend so we can receive these files and store them somewhere. And typically you don't want to store them on the backend and serve, but you want additionally to upload them to some CDN in order to store there. You might also want to upload your files not just from local computer, but maybe from Dropbox account or from Google Drive, and it is even more work to implement it by yourself. Additionally, it might be that you want to implement editing of the images before uploading them, for example simple things like cropping or maybe adding some filters. This is even more work. And the solution that I want to talk here about is called Upload Care. It solves all these problems at once. So it allows us to upload to their own CDN all files in a matter of seconds. Additionally, we are getting a prepared library to implement everything that we need on the client. So we are getting a model which looks like this, with progress bar of uploading our files that we can use in a matter of seconds. Additionally, we can edit our images, crop them, rotate or add filters inside the same model. And then you are getting your files directly in their CDN, which means it is available really fast from any place of the world. And the goal of this video is to show you how easily you can use it inside Angular. Essentially, you can use a plot care in plain JavaScript or with any popular frontend library. As you can see, I already created here an account and we are getting here on the left the Get Started page. And this is how we can integrate upload care in our project. So here are solutions for plain HTML, CSS, React, Next, View, Angular and Svelte. And here I already prepared for us an empty Angular application. And our first step here is to install this library from upload care. This is why here npm install at upload care slash blocks. If we open the documentation for Angular on the official website, you can see that here we can install this package and use it, but the usage is a little bit different than the typical usage of Angular components. Why is that? Because essentially upload care is built on custom elements, which actually means we are getting from the library itself custom elements and not Angular components. But it is still quite easy to work with them. And our first step here is to jump inside our source app, app component TS, which is completely empty. And here on the top we want to import star as LR from upload care blocks. And now here we must call a line to register our blocks. This is why here LR.register blocks with round brackets and we are passing inside our LR. Now we can jump directly inside our app component HTML and use it here. And in order to use it we have two different things. We must provide inside a config and we must call file uploader which is exactly this button with a model which allows us to upload our files. This is why here first of all I want to create lr config. Inside we can set our name which is context name for example my uploader. And most important part here is our pub key. And what is our pub key? This is an API key of our account inside Upload Care. This is why here I must jump inside my profile and here on the left there is an API key that I can use. I am copying it from here and just pasting inside my LR config. So this was our component for config, but now we must call our file uploader. This is why here LR file uploader. And here we have different things like for example a minimal uploader or a regular one. Let's have a look on a regular uploader. And here again I want to provide context name which will be my uploader and additionally CSS source attribute. And inside I am providing just a minified CSS file of upload care blocks. So this is the minimal setup of upload care in order to run it inside Angular. Let's have a look if we have any errors. I'm jumping in the console and as you can see here, we're getting an error, LR file upload regular is not a known element. And it happens because yes, we didn't register this component at all and this is not an Angular component inside some module. This is why we must tell Angular that we want to use custom elements. 
I am jumping here inside our app component TS and here we must add schemas property and inside we can write custom element schema which we are getting from Angular Core. As you can see now it is totally fine that we have custom elements inside our HTML. Let's have a look in browser now. As you can see I don't have any errors and here is our upload files button that we can click and here we are getting such model. So this full model we are getting from upload care directly and here we can drop files from our own device from the link, camera, dropbox and google drive. And just for testing I want to select here an image from my assets. As you can see we are getting progress bar and we see that one file was uploaded. We can add more files here or remove these files if we need but I will simply click done. Now we can jump inside my profile and inside files we can see this first image that was uploaded inside upload care. Most importantly here we can click on this image and it will open an original image. And as you can see the URL goes for the CDN inside upload care. And additionally to that we can get smaller images here and as you can see it is possible to use different keys inside URL like preview quality of format which will change our output. So here I want to copy this URL and open now and as you can see it is much smaller because of all these parameters here inside our URL. Which actually means we don't just upload files but we can already access them in the CDN with different quality. Now let's talk about config. What we had here by default is totally fine but first of all I want to get rid of this line powered by upload care, we don't want that and actually we can configure all these links which are available for us inside the config if we need to. So here first of all I want to say multiple true which means we can upload multiple files then remove copyright also true and source list and here we have just a string with comma separated values and it can be local, url, camera, dropbox and google drive. Let's have a look now, I am clicking here upload file, we don't have this copyright message and here are specified all urls that we wrote inside this source list. If we remove several of them then we will get less. What we want to do now we want to get access to our files that we are uploading and progress of these files inside our angular application. And as here we don't have really angular components or angular services we need somehow to get access to our upload care. And we can do that through context provider. This is why here we are creating LR upload context provider and inside first of all we must provide context name which must be the same as in two previous elements it is my uploader and additionally here we want to use hash context provider just like we are doing inside angular to get access to the native element. This is why here let's jump back inside our component and here we want to use view child in order to read our context provider that we just created. And here first of all it is already in DOM so it is static true. And here we are getting our context provider which is an element reference type of lr.uploadContextProvider.prototype. So what this code does it simply gives us a reference to this content provider which is a native element outside of Angular and now we can listen to specific events inside this context provider. This is why here I want to write implements on init. And inside engine init we can subscribe to some events. This is why here context provider dot native element and we want here add event listener for data output. And what we want to call here is a function this handle upload event. And we will create it in a second. And exactly the same I want to do for another event which is called done flow. And here I want to call this handle done flow. Now let's create these two functions. First of all handle upload event where we are getting event of type event and secondly handle done flow where we don't really need anything at all and I can simply console log here handle done flow. And here is what is important to understand. There are different events which upload care provides for us and two of these events which are interesting for us is data output and done flow. Done flow is easy to understand. This is when our process of files uploading is finished. But data output is different. It will be triggered every single time when data are being changed during uploading. 
which actually means, for example, we are getting new progress of our upload and this is exactly this data output function. And here what I want to call inside, first of all, I want to check that event instance of custom event, which actually means our event is not a custom event, because in this case we want to return and not do anything. And in another case, we want to simply console log here event.detail so we can check what we have inside. Let's have a look now. I'm jumping to browser and I want to open a console. And here I want to click upload and select a file. First of all, it was an empty array. This is our console log that we just wrote inside handle upload event. And then we're getting different information regarding our file. This is an array because we can upload multiple files. And here is our file. We're getting here lots of information like what this file is, that it is an image, what is MIME type and so on. And here for example you can see that upload progress is 0. And then here in the next change we can see that upload progress is 16%. Which actually means here we're getting all events every single time when some information is being changed in our files. And what it allows us to do is to get all these files and do something with them. For example, when this process is finished, we can render them on the screen. This is why here on the top, let's create a local property uploaded files, which is an LR output file entry. And this is an array. Now every single time inside our handle upload event, when we have a detail, we can write something inside our file. So if we are getting event detail, we want to update our this dot uploaded files and we're assigning the event detail as LR output file entry. Now let's try to render this array of files inside our HTML. This is why here on the bottom I can simply write a div within G4 loop and here let uploaded file of uploaded files and inside we want to render an image with source where we want to take uploaded file dot cdn url this is what we are getting at the end the url for the image which is being stored inside cdn and here we can add different parameters and i want to write here slash preview then dash resize and i want here 200 pixels which actually means our image will be smaller and we only want to render this image if our cdn url is there this is why here ng if uploaded file dot cdn url let's check if it's working i'm clicking here upload files and select to files i'm clicking here open and our image are being uploaded but nothing happens why is that because actually inside our ts file these two handlers must be an error function because this does not have a correct reference inside add event listener, which actually means here we can say that this is just an error function and then this will be correct and the same here if we need this function later inside handle done flow. Let's check again. I'm clicking here upload, select to files and click open. And as you can see now our files are being rendered on the screen. Why does it happen? Because here inside our handle upload event, every single time when we're getting files, we're writing them here. And now inside our HTML, we're simply rendering these files inside ng4 loop. And here we're using CDN URL that we're getting only when our upload is finished. And here we're adding this preview resize 200 pixels to make this image smaller. And as you can see, this is how our URL looks like. It is going to CDN, then slash preview resize 200 pixels. Now I want to show you the image editing that we're getting out of the box inside this model. It is there by default, or we can write here a property, use cloud image editor and set it to true. And now here when we're uploading an image, let's select here for example a bot. And on the right, we can see this icon to open the editing on the screen. What we can do here, first of all, we can crop our image like we want. We can also rotate it if needed or flip for example. Additionally, here is another icon which allows us to change the brightness, contrast, saturation of the image or exposure. But my favorite icon is here on the right, which are lots of different filters that we are getting out of the box. This is why here we can apply some filter and just hit OK. And as you can see, our image here was directly changed. What we can do now, we can open this image and see the full path. And this is just the same image that was uploaded with the filter. So slash filter and the name of the filter, then crop and it was resized to this preview. 
which actually means it is important to remember that filters are not being applied to our image, these are just some parameters inside URL. If you check your image after uploading, inside files, all these images that were uploaded are just like original without some cutting. And you can apply later inside your URL any parameters that you want to. And the last thing that I want to show you is how to style this component if you want to overwrite something. And there are two different ways to do that. First of all, we can jump inside our app component and here on the top we can write lr.shadowstyles and inside we are just providing a string. And here inside we can overwrite styles that we want to. For example, here we have our button, which we click. As you can see here we have lr, simple button, button and we can override it. This is why here I will write host, then lr, simple button, space button and let's write here for example background teal and color white and as you can see here i am getting an error that shadow styles don't exist on lr it should be lr dot file upload regular because we are using a regular file uploader in our case and as you can see now in the browser our button changed its color it is okay but there is another way which i like much more I will comment out this code and now inside our HTML we can simply add a class inside our upload regular. So here we can write class, for example parent container. Now we can create this class inside our CSS and we won't just overwrite some nested elements inside, we just want to overwrite CSS variables. Because essentially when you check here you can see that they are using CSS variables a lot, like for example for border radius or for colors. And here we can override this color for our simple button and background color, which actually means it is enough to just write here control button background secondary and it will be teal and obviously it should be two dashes and then control button text secondary and it will be white which actually means this is much better, we simply configure variables which are there inside this library. And when I reload the page you can see that the color is still now and these variables on our button were modified. As you can see upload care is an amazing solution to upload your files on the website in seconds and store them in their service. And if you want to learn more about upload care, don't forget to check a link in the description box below.